I have two words. Um, we need more funding for police officers, not less funding. And here's why I say that. Mr. President, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Uh, I, like many others, we support you in supporting our law enforcement officers and providing safe communities. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, for being here as well and your hard work. And obviously to the Attorney General, Attorney General Barr, thank you. And to law enforcement officers that are here and their families and to your staff, Mr. President. Um, although it shouldn't matter, Mr. President, I'm kind of a unique bird, if you will. Um, I'm a Democrat. I'm an elected official. I'm African American. I have eight years or 12 years of experience in the Georgia House of Representatives, eight years as county exec. And as county exec, I've had to manage a very large, probably one of the largest police departments in the state of Georgia. But I've also had the unfortunate experience of having to meet with family members who lost a loved one from a police shooting. That was the very, probably the most difficult part of my job. But I've also had to deal on the other side where I lost two police officers in one night, among several others I lost, but I lost two in one night. By the way, they happen to, be an, to have been African American. And going to meet with their family members as well, young wives with young babies, and having to experience seeing them um, lose a loved one is, is nothing um, anybody would want to do. But I can tell you this, Mr. President, by and large, most law enforcement officers, those men and women who honorably wear their uniforms each and every day to go out when they're running towards a situation, others are running from it. So we have to stand with them. And I'll, I'll say this, um, I have two words. Um, we need more funding for police officers, not less funding. And here's why I say that. When you look at law enforcement and the equipment, that's important for them because it's protecting save their lives as well as saving others' lives. But clearly more money is needed to buy less lethal uh, enforcement types of tools like the uh, bowler, what they call the bowler wrap. Right. We also need resources for them. Officers usually, almost always, only get the psychological exam prior of being hired. It's part of the examination of getting hired. But afterwards, they're not given those type of psychological exams or assessments. And when you look at them, they've been on, a, let's say, the beat four or five years nonstop, and the number of calls they're getting, the number of situations. That's the way we can detect, are they burned out? Do we need to put them somewhere else? That's important. And, and, and finally, Mr. President, um, community policing is important, that relationship, that trust, being fair, but enforcing the law. And most people, including black people, they want law enforcement to be out there enforcing the law. I think people just want it to be, they want them to be fair. They want them to be swift in justice. And we lost a baby girl too in Atlanta, eight years old, and it wasn't to a police officer. More people have died from the protest of Black Lives Matter than prior to that. And so sometimes it's hypocritical, it's almost as if some black lives matter but all black lives should matter and all lives should matter. So I thank you, Mr. President, for what you're doing. Thank you. And I stand solidly with you. Thank you very much. Appreciate yep. it. Beautiful.